it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. In this video, we will be focusing on homeostasis. We will define the term and look at why there is a need for homeostasis, and then we will look at one example of how homeostasis works in humans. So the definition of homeostasis is that it is the maintenance of a constant internal environment within an organism. This means that organisms are always trying to keep factors like temperature, pH, blood sugars, oxygen levels, and the amount of waste build up within narrow ranges. Homeostasis is about maintaining equilibrium or balance within the organism. Homeostasis is necessary if an organism is to be independent of its surroundings and if its metabolism is to function efficiently. Most homeostatic mechanisms work by negative feedback, i.e. if there is a change away from the normal optimum value, action is automatically taken to reverse this change. Your body and its individual cells need to be at just the right conditions to perform at their best. A cell's delicately balanced chemical reactions work best within narrow limits of temperature, pH and solute concentration. Many organisms can control conditions of temperature, fluid balance and chemistry within themselves, that is their internal environment, even when conditions in their external environment are changing. Homeostasis requires an organism to exchange materials with its environment. Small, single-celled organisms like amoeba don't need special organs for this exchange. Small cells have a large surface area, so the material to be exchanged can move in and out of the cell by diffusion. Larger, multicellular organisms like plants and animals, and ourselves as humans, have to use exchange systems like excretory and respiratory systems to allow materials to be exchanged between the organism and its environment. So let's take a look at temperature regulation as an example of homeostasis. Temperature influences the rate of enzyme-controlled reactions that sustain life. You probably know the human body temperature is usually between 36 to 38 degrees C, which is why we say that our average temperature is 37 degrees C. This is the optimal or best temperature for our cells to work at. The heat to maintain our body temperature at 37 degrees mainly comes from the liver during its metabolism. Muscles, skin and blood all play a role in controlling body temperature. If our temperature rises, more blood flows close to the surface of the skin and sweat glands release sweat, causing us to cool down. If our temperature drops, blood flows beneath the adipose or fat tissue, we stop sweating, our hair stand up and we shiver to produce more heat. So here's what you usually need to be able to do. Define homeostasis and describe the necessity for homeostasis in living organisms. 